let's remove these from the global links and let's create exclusive links so first of all we don't need any collision with the set snowman which okay let's we we just need the fill object and we need the container now they both affect each other but the container uh, or the fill object is not going to be affected by the gravity uh, where is my gravi oh, the gravity so the gravity is going to affect only the container uh, the K volume is going to affect them both the cube is going to affect the container and the filter is going to affect the fill object you need to put the filter on the fill object so the filter like checks for the particles in the fill object alright, uh, this should be it and uh, let me check the simulation properties we don't need object dynamics so that's off uh, I have 8 processors, 24 frames per sec and I'm gonna start with max sub steps 30, adaptive that doesn't matter, the sub body solver doesn't matter and it's all good reset, yes save the scene oh, I would, I'm gonna color my particles because I like them I like these blue I'm just gonna pick a blue container, I'm gonna pick a red or pink or something and I'm gonna change this display color also to like some kind of pink so we, we can separate which part is what and I'm gonna change the color of the ground also to like brown okay, there's a brown All right, let's save and let's run the simulation and you see that it starts melting right away and they affect each other and um, as the the container gets gravity it starts moving the particles underneath so it starts uh, pushing them out of the way uh, you can add all kind of forces for this uh, this tutorial is not I told you it's not for uh, creating an accurate uh, movie or something melting ice it's more for showing how the filter demon works um, I'm gonna stop to pause the video and I'll come back when uh, the simulation is done. Okay, the, fin the simulation is finished, so we're gonna create a little preview. Uh, I'm gonna go playback, uh, video preview, I'm gonna set up something, something medium quality. I want to keep him every 10 frames. Okay, let's run it. I'm gonna pause the video again and we're gonna look at the video later. Okay, the preview creation is done, so let's play the video. So it's not a perfect sim, but it shows exactly what's happening. And um, there's a couple of things good to know. First of all, um, the container and the fill object should be the same resolution. Uh, if you have different resolution then your simulation might explode so then the, the container particles or the fill object particles they just fly fly apart and if you don't have the key volume that's disastrous your scene is going to crash um, so the resolution is important to uh, to change and um, the, you can change the rest so basically if you don't like the way the, the water is flowing down so you don't like the way the red particles are um, uh, falling down they don't look fluid enough so you can take the container and you can change that so you can have more internal pressure and more viscosity and other stuff and of course you can uh, add all kind of forces separate on the container and uh, yeah you can make really cool simulations and uh, you can also use the filter demon uh, you can use it on beam loaders so you you or, or just turn the, the container to cache mode and uh, then uh, you have to override the target, uh, the true or the false target. And then that means that basically, let's, let me show you. So if you hit F1, and uh, there is the exact description. So it's gonna clear the particle. Uh, it's gonna clear the particles on every frame. Um, so um, this is it about the filter demon and. Uh, 
it's a uh, it's basically a really really uh, good way to split out particles and also create extra uh, particle emit extra particles uh, wherever you want so you can use it for like splashes you create like a, um, a river or some kind of um, water motion and you can spit out secondary splash elements and mesh them separate and yeah uh, and it's multi-threaded that's a big thing so you don't have to worry about the the scripting but you can use uh, so let me save the scene so i'm going to save the scene and here uh, in greater than you can turn it to oops not particle collision to expression and in the expression you can write your own expression with the uh, scripting, re scripting reference um, your scripting reference helps for with the commands and stuff so this is it about the filter demon and don't forget to visit our website uh, hyperorganic.com and um, yeah there's more tutorials uh, online and uh, yeah um, let's, I'll see you guys there